So God in his love, he takes the foolish sinner, he takes them, he washes them, he makes them clean, he declares them as righteous, and he adopts them into his family, adopts them into the kingdom of God. See, it's only through faith in Christ that we can be seen as innocent. We are guilty before the eyes of a holy God, and the only way to stand before this holy God is to trust in Jesus Christ, who was crucified for sinners. This is the ultimate standard of truth. Without this, you can't make sense out of anything at all. Oh yeah? Do you believe in objective truth or is it all just relative? Okay, so this is the ultimate standard of truth. Without God, you can't make sense out of anything. You just have to say that truth is relative, which basically means everything's just an opinion. So why is it a problem with me? If you think everything's just an opinion, what's the problem with me sharing my opinion? Why are you so hostile against me sharing this? But you believe in relative truth. Is that objectively true that it's detrimental to people? Because who says? You? You just say that and so then it's true all of a sudden? You see? Jesus is the source and standard of all truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So if you reject this, you can't make sense out of anything at all. You just said truth is relative. You've given up. You've given up all knowledge. God spoke to man. Yeah. He spoke to man in the Garden of Eden, and Adam and Eve desiring to be autonomous rather than trusting God's standard of goodness and, and righteousness, they grasp at that fruit for their desire of autonomy, the desire of self-law rather than trusting in God's law. That was the problem, and that's why death entered into the world. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ. So rather than having your sin and your death and rejecting the revelation of God, which by the way, you know God exists, but you hold down that truth and unrighteousness. You reject it, but you know it. You're in contact with the truth every day. And so rather than rejecting that truth, I want to plead with you to be made right with God. He's a merciful Savior. He'll take you. But you have to call upon His name. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So call upon Him. This is the ultimate standard of truth. I have to presuppose this to understand anything. And if you don't, you can't make sense out of anything at all. Yeah. What's wrong with what's wrong with the law of self-contradiction? I, I so so let me first say I reject that the Bible contradicts itself. I don't believe that. That's not true. But even if it were based on world, your worldview, what's the problem with that? Truth is relative anyway. See, laws of logic, they're a universal standard. They're an objective standard, but you've rejected objective standards. And so whenever you make the claim, you have to borrow from my worldview, you have to borrow from the laws of logic that God has given us, you have to borrow from those things to even refute Christianity. See, atheism, it, it presupposes theism, so atheism refutes itself. Saying there is no God, that's an ultimate standard in a truth, in a, it's an ultimate standard of truth in a worldview that doesn't account for absolute truths. So you have to borrow from the Christian worldview to try to attack it. 